Mark, you talked midweek after the game against Stevenage about creating a, a siege mentality. How pleasing is it to be building something like that? Yeah, I think it's um, we've got a strong spirit um, at the club, and uh, and we need to keep that going. We um, we need to stay tight. We need to stay together and, and keep getting performances on the pitch. And presumably a derby, an ideal game to build on that with. That's right. We're playing a, a big club in Swindon. Um, far too big for this level, uh, in my opinion, with the support they've got. And um, it's always a tough game against Swindon. Experienced manager, got some good players, and uh, it's going to be a, it's going to be a tough game, but one we're really looking forward to. You've already beaten them once in the League Cup. Presumably that counts for nothing. No, no, we we made eight changes in the last game, and. Um, we managed to get a result, but um, hopefully we can play better than we did did on that night. And having made those changes, perhaps would you know more about them than they might know about you at the mo at the stage? Possibly. Obviously, they um, had a, an interesting game on Tuesday, you know, with a, with a couple of red cards and um, conceding late on. So yeah, I mean, I think both. I think every manager and coach and analysts knows what what there is to know about every team um, and there's not not too many secrets and when you're doing your homework on a team that crazy game against Crawley on Tuesday presumably that won't be the only game you'll look at so you'll get a, a broader picture yeah of course we've we've watched all of their games as they will of ours and uh, they have a way of playing so it can be effective um, but they've, uh, there's been a lot of goals in their games and it'd um, be nice if it was the same Saturday but as long as we've got more goals than them. And because there's been that many goals, are they the sort of side who won't come here and, and shut up shop and just play for a point? I'd, I wouldn't have thought so. Um, it feels teams have always been quite adventurous and, and, and they'll be trying to win the game, as, as will we. Gavin Gunning, obviously available to come back in. Um, how pleasing, though, is it that you make that decision, whether or not to, off the back of a clean sheet? Well, that's when you have a what you perceive as a, as a decent squad that that players perform, and and give you issues that good issues that, uh, you know, which team to pick, and then that's how you get a healthy healthy balance and a healthy squad and good results is by having that competition for places and and the boys that played on Tuesday certainly did that. It does look very hard to get into the team at the moment for those who aren't in the squad, and we see Hayden Hollis has gone out on loan to Chesterfield. What's the thinking there? Hayden's not, not played many games. He did brilliant for us last year in, in our quest to, to, to retain our status in the Football League. Um, he's found himself um, behind sort of three three centre-backs and we felt it's important for him to to not sort of get frustrated and, um, and go and play some games. So it's a brilliant move for him, 20 minutes from his house and um, he'll do really, really well for them. And it's not going to leave you short because you've still got Lee Collins as well. That's right. We've got obviously we've got Gavin, uh, Gunning, Faz Rawson, or Digby, and, and Lee Collins that can play there. So it's um, we're, we're okay in that position. The fans obviously that were here on Tuesday night were very vocal. Do you feel that sort of sort of a mood change, if you like, amongst the fans that those who turn up are backing the team better this season? I think so. I think. Uh, uh, the players have, have mentioned it that there's um, been good support. You know, one can, it's important that the support's unconditional, no matter who plays, no matter what the the result is. As long as the players are trying, that support needs to be unconditional and in, through thick or thin. That's that's the only way to back your team, and, uh, and they've done that so far. And presumably, being unbeaten, that means that you know the team is doing their bit to encourage the fans, giving them something to shout about. I think one thing fans should forgive or can forgive is eff you know, effort. If, if they see effort, then uh, that goes a long way. And, and we've certainly given a lot of effort so far this season. How do you go about breaking teams down who do come here and defend? Obviously, Swindon might not, but it's, it's kind of like back to the days in the National League, isn't it, where you, know, you might be dominating games and it's a different type of, of victory you've got to, you know, I suppose, achieve. Yeah, I spoke to the players this morning. I said to him, it's a great compliment to, to you guys that Stephen Edge, your fourth or third in the league at the time, uh, are coming to play for a draw, try and scrap a draw out. And um, that's a great compliment to you. Um, we did enough to win the game. It's not about finding a way to break them down. We did break them down. We just didn't um, put the final touch to it, which was putting the ball in the back of the net. But in terms of getting through their line, we did it on numerous occasions. 
another week or so of the loan window. Are you expecting any business? We're trying. We're trying to bring. Um, we're trying to bring one or two in. You know, we. You know, like I said, we've we may, might make a couple of you know go out the other way um, to make room for a couple coming in. Andrew, is everyone all right for Saturday? Yeah, fully fit squad. Yeah.